super hot, super hot, super hot. This is what's been going through my mind all day. Super Hot is a very unique first person shooter. The game starts off as you log into a PC and chat with a friend. He tells you about this new game and how to play and how to get a crack to try it out. This is when this fantastic roller coaster ride starts. You start the crack and you get sucked into this amazing world. Basically, the premise of the game is you shoot red guys, a concept so simple but yet so fun and addicting. But here's the twist. The game only moves when you move. You would think that this type of game mechanic would make a game way too easy, but it doesn't. The game is quite difficult. The AI is on point when trying to kill you. One hit and the game is over and you have to restart the scenario. The AI does have this way of cheeseballing you at times. I spent countless times playing this one setup, but no matter what I did, I always seemed to die. They weren't head-on deaths either. Remember, the game only moves when you move. So in this case, I shot a guy down the hall, looked around before moving, took a few steps, looked around some more, all was clear, and then bam, out of nowhere, I got slaughtered. If this game is supposed to only move when I move, then where in the bloody hell did this random AI come from? That's all I'm saying. It's one thing to make a game hard, but cheese balling in some areas just to be hard had me raging like no other. I truly enjoyed the style of the game, the presentation, as well as the surprises the game has. This game has quite a few of them and some easter egg homages to some older game titles. Not just that, but this game also has no shame in breaking the fourth wall whatsoever. It actually does a brilliant job of doing so. The game I would say is a mashup of all of the best parts of your favorite games and movies, from Matrix to Portal. The game does a fantastic job of immersing you in this world of shooting red guys. As, as simple as this sounds, and yet it's basically what you're doing, but I can't reiterate how much fun it is just to shoot red guys in the head. I also liked how the game has an in-game record system for clips. After each successful round, you have the option to edit and upload your clips to Killstagram.com. Killstagram is a site specifically for the game for when you upload your beastly clips on there. So I spent most of my night uploading some of my crazy scenarios, so head over and check out some of my ups. Also look for JGKujo69 to find the clip and see if you can do better. I thought this feature was fantastic and honestly, in this day and age, more games should have a built-in feature like this. Granted, most PC users have... Uh, built-in capture apps, but this is so easy and so simple you can up on the fly and it's a brilliant option for any game to have in my opinion. I haven't been able to put this game down. It truly is that much fun. I'm not sure if this is 100% true or not, but supposedly every user's experience is different. There is never the same scenario twice. If this is true, then this game is definitely like no other. The main campaign is short though. I went through it in not even three hours. But there are other modes that you unlock once you finish the game, like a time trial mode and an unlimited mode where you can shoot red guys till your heart's desire. Piat Kasmala and the Super Hot team have a very special and one of a kind game here. In all of my years of gaming, I have never experienced a game like this. This game will make you laugh, this game will make you rage, this game will make you think outside of the box on how to shoot and beat up enemies in a way that you've never seen before in any other shooter. The Super Hot team has a bright future ahead of them. Overall, I give this game a 9.75 out of 10. I love the game and can't get enough. It's so much fun and it truly is a breath of fresh air for the FPS genre. It keeps things simple and that's what makes the game so enjoyable. The game mechanics are smooth, super smooth and it plays at a crisp 1080p 60 frames per second. The controls were very responsive and the hitboxes on the enemies were on point like they should be. If it weren't for the cheeseballness of the AI in certain areas of the game, I would have given this game a perfect score. It's one thing to have hard enemy AI, and it's another thing to make enemy AI cheesy just to make a particular segment in a game hard. That was my problem with it. But overall, this game is absolutely amazing. Always remember, super hot, super hot, super hot, we're always watching. My name is Cujo, PTFO or GTFO, I'm out.